What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So today I want to show you guys how you can use NordVPN on Android. Now, if you can use NordVPN on the desktop right here, then you'll be able to easily use it on Android. It's roughly the same exact user interface with a map and everything. The way it works is you just have to download and install the VPN from the Play Store. Once it's downloaded, you can get yourself a subscription using the link below uh, for a little bit of an extra discount. You'd benefit off of it if you take advantage of it. So feel free to do that. And once it's downloaded and installed, you can use your login credentials, log into the application, and you will have a very similar interface. Now I'll show you guys some clips on how it looks like on Android, but basically you have the same exact map here, over 5,800 servers in uh, 60 countries. You've got the peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers, the Onion over VPN and the double VPN specialty servers. And if you go to the settings, again, it's very similar to what you would see on your Windows PC, but you do have CyberSec on uh, the Android, whereas on PC you have threat protection, but they're essentially the same thing, except that threat protection acts like a little bit of a mini antivirus and cybersec is just a um, like a shield from malware and harmful ads uh, you also have split tunneling on android which is really cool split tunneling will allow to choose which applications are routed through the vpn and which are not which is a very useful feature you have the ability to adjust your auto connect options here you can choose between nordlinks and open vpn i definitely recommend nordlinks you have an easy way to change your dns with custom DNS. Uh, you have tap jacking protection as well, which will give you alerts if a malicious application adds a screen overlay to trick you into an unintended action. And dark web monitor will just keep an eye out for uh, leaked data that are linked to your personal information. And besides that, that is it for uh, NordVPN Android. Again, you can just go through the list of servers, or you can simply zoom into the map, pick a server, and you're good to go. It's as simple as that. So that's basically it for uh, NordVPN. It works really well for streaming, torrenting, or just securing your device if you're on public Wi-Fi and whatnot. I would say it's the best well-rounded VPN that offers a whole bunch of bonus features for a very reasonable price while still maintaining very high levels of security and performance. So if you end up buying NordVPN, be sure to check the description down below for an extra discount. So take advantage of that while it lasts and you'll find a full review if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Nord. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day.